Today I'm going to reveal estrogen-rich foods and how phytoestrogens affect your health. Estrogen-rich foods are rich in plant-like compounds called phytoestrogens, which mimic the effect of estrogen in your body. Estrogen-rich foods can be beneficial for some women. Phytoestrogens are found in some nuts, seeds, legumes, grains, fruits, and vegetables. In the nut and seed category are flax seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, almonds, and walnuts. Legumes include soy and mung beans. For soy, we're including tofu, miso, and tempo too. Sprouted grains include oats, barley, wheat, alfalfa, and red clover. And in fruits and vegetables, we're talking about apples, pomegranates, strawberries, cranberries, grapes, yams, and carrots are rich in phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens bind weakly to estrogen receptors and have weaker effects than your natural estrogen or prescribed synthetic estrogen. But phytoestrogens are still considered endocrine disruptors that may disrupt normal hormonal function. Did you know that I cover how to protect and optimize your estrogen receptors in my free hormone reboot training? Now, let's talk about the benefits of eating estrogen-rich foods. Consuming phytoestrogens can be a natural menopause alternative to synthetic estrogen. Research conducted in 2014 found that phytoestrogens reduce the frequency of hot flashes in menopausal women without any serious side effects. Another study in 2011 found that phytoestrogens did help to combat postmenopausal osteoporosis. Consuming phytoestrogens are one natural way to rebalance your hormonal levels in women prone to acne. But more research is needed to prove whether phytoestrogens are an effective acne treatment. Consuming phytoestrogens may inhibit estrogen-induced cancers. A 2009 study found that consuming soy foods, which are rich in phytoestrogens, decreased the risk of death and recurrence in women with breast cancer. Another 2015 study found that phytoestrogens inhibited the growth of breast cancer cells, but eating estrogen-rich foods does not help all types of breast cancer. And as I mentioned in my video on thyroid health, too much phytoestrogens from soy can actually block T3 activity, lowering your metabolism. Remember, all things in moderation. I created this video on phytoestrogens in response to a question I got from one of my viewers. So if you have a suggestion for a video topic, please post it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.